Wingardium Leviosa. All books and no play make one quite dull indeed. Wingardium Leviosa. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Revelio. Learn from books to best me. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the dark. Wingardium Leviosa. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs>
I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. Watch this. Perhaps I can find a way to reveal the path. Revelio. I can find a way to reveal the path. Uh, Revelio. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Rebellion. I'm rearranging the fire. But don't want you getting teeth covered. Store, do I?
Open Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. Leviosa. Defaulter. Arresto momentum. Defender. Confirm. Expelliarmus. Confirm. Incendium. Glacius. Leviosa. Defaulter. Descendo. Rependo. Wingardium Leviosa. Get your attack. 
catch you. Well, this has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. Inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you'll want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and do you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Catches, catch, catch! By catches, catch! I mean. Incendio. Oh. 
someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think, yes, another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. 
repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. Ah! Ah! Stop her! I should have known better to do business with a wily student. Arrest on the legend. Place it. Incendium. Defender. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Arrest them, momentum. Tango! Glacius! Defender! Known better than to do business with a wily student. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. 
on her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. I look forward to working with you. What's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny will be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Revelio. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. travels. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Cladwell and Brewster.
excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. I'd rather freight cool. First they're teaching students jinxes. Next thing you know it's not like hard to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her 
egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Arrest her! Is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Bridge here broken. Repair her.
Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. There we go. Incendio. Depulso. Accio. Rebendo. Confringo. Levioso. Depulso.
Revelio. This place has seen better days. Assignment's all finished. The last time I was at Dogby. Black's children are coming. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. 
I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Excellent. You have it well in hand. 